And we have breaking news coming in at this point of time. We're getting to know that the accused in uh, the Salman Khan firing case, he dies by suicide. His uh, name is Anuj Thapan and he died by suicide in police custody. He was uh, arrested by cops in connection with the firing case that took place outside Salman Khan's house. We have Rakesh Trivedi joining us. Uh, fresh development coming in. The accused in connection who was in fact arrested by cops for firing outside Salman Khan's house. Multiple theories were propounded but right now the news of his death in custody is shocking. Get us more details. Uh, well, this is a very shocking incident that Anush Thapan, who was the accused uh, for supplying the weapon to the main accused who had opened fire at Salman Khan's residence, uh, he committed suicide today in the lockup. He was given the police custody till 8 May. What we are learning from our sources is that he was given some bed treat uh, previous night and today in the morning, uh, people saw that he tried to hung himself using the same bed treat and immediately he was rushed to the GT hospital in Mumbai where doctors declared him dead. So right now the Azad Medan police have registered and ADR, the accidental death report case, and they are investigating the case. That how did the, uh, this all thing, you know, uh, uh, happen, and the, what was the sequence of even whether there was any uh, loopholes or any carelessness from the jail staff. So this is all subject to investigation. But uh, one of the important accused, one of the important uh, witness in the Salman Khan firing case, has uh, committed suicide under the police custody, and he is declared dead. That is what we are learning from the police sources so, so far. Uh, there is no official confirmation, no official uh, word from the Mumbai police yet, but uh, the, the hospital uh, sources and the police sources are confirming that the incident took place uh, today in the morning in the lockup and while he was uh, uh, rushed to the GT hospital where the doctors declared him dead. Alright, so just piece together the sequence of events. We don't have an official word from the police just yet, but you've been talking to your sources because uh, as, as the details are currently unfolding, there are questions now being raised. Uh, as of now, prima facie, the information that we have from our sources is that he died by suicide. But piece together everything that you know so far in connection with what happened with the accused in the Salman Khan firing case, especially now that news is out that he died by suicide in custody. Uh, yes, the sequence of event is that the first uh, two accused were arrested and later on the, their interrogation, the, the other few names uh, emerged and then the Anush Thapan, one of the accused, he was brought from the Punjab and then he was produced before the court and then he was sent to the police custody till 8 May and when, while he was in the police custody mm. uh, in that time uh, he was given some material and uh, in, including some bed sheet and uh, some pillow uh, only to sleep last night and mm. it, uh, what we are learning with, uh, from our sources is that he used that uh, material, that cloth, the pieces of cloth, he joined them together and uh, made uh, um, uh, and tried to hung himself uh, today in the morning and immediately when the interrogators uh, reached the room and they saw, saw in the morning that he he was uh, found hanging Stay and immediately he was because, uh, as as the details unfold uh, very very uh, shocking details now coming to light Swapnil Kothari is joining us on the phone line good afternoon Mr Kothari the accused in the Salman Khan firing case Anuj Thapan who was in fact picked up by the police arrested by them he was accused of supplying arms to the two shooters who opened fire outside Salman's residence now uh, dies by suicide in jail we are still awaiting an official word from the police but as somebody who tracks these cases very closely as somebody belonging to the legal fraternity what is your first impression when details like this unfold usually uh, these kind of things which are touted as suicide uh, normally do not end up being so hmm. so uh, I would want to wait for further details, further clarifications from the jail superintendent hmm. because he's responsible for everybody who's in the custody. Or if it was a police station, then the police station, because I do not know what sort of a custody was that. So whatever the custody was, whether it was police or a jail custody in terms of an actual jail, like a Tihar jail or something of that sort, then, uh, or just in the police, uh, you know, precincts, if there is there are these jails. Hmm. So it depends on what kind of jail it was and then who's the person who is responsible for the, uh, you know, well-being of that person right. in the sense, well-being in the sense that whether the person is dead, alive, whether the person is fed properly at appropriate time, so his basic mm. human rights are taken care of. Mm. So if those details further come out, then I'm in a position to tell you yeah. more. Right. But uh, this, this is this, at the very first blush, it looks fishy. Okay. So Swapnil Kothari, thank you for joining us. Swapnil Kothari, noted uh, uh, advocate, telling us that Prima facie, in the first blush, 
everything that's happening with per, per, pertaining to this case, especially now that news is out of one of the accused who was in custody, who was arrested, who supplied two arms to the shooters involved in the firing outside Salman Khan's house. He dies by custody in police and lawyers now are saying that this looks fishy. But for viewers just joining us on this broadcast, we're just getting news that the accused in the Salman Khan firing case died. His name is Anuj Thapan. He died by suicide. Rakesh tells us that, uh, as per sources, that he, in fact, had some pieces of cloth with him, which he put together, and that is how he committed suicide. We are still awaiting more details. As of now, we are telling our viewers about all the information that we've gathered from our sources, from the police and from hospital. But moving on now to the...